You can edit, you can edit this, right? Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode with David Bentick and Sal. We're uh, actually have had the opportunity to take some time out of David Bentick's um, day. And today we're going to be looking into just some quick uh, ins and outs of what he's going through this month. So, uh, David, you ready to answer some questions? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm always happy to take time out of my very, very hectic, busy day for you, Sal. All right. You don't have to lie to me, but all right. So I have some questions for you, actually. So I know since we work pretty close together, what are some things you're going, you're, you're looking at this month that's been, been helping your business? Yeah, man. So I, um, I'm really getting back into getting dialed in into my prospecting and lead generating. Um, there's been a couple of events and a couple of things that um, I had to attend to that kind of, um, you know, took me off the, my regular schedule, uh, um, my, daily, my daily routine. And so I'm really dialing back in and, and really hitting my, my lead generation pretty hard. Um, I, my, lead, my lead generation usually consists of, um, you know, cold calling and also social media. Yeah, social media, social media strategy. So I'm really getting dialed back into that. Um, build your business, right? Cold calling. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, man. I, uh, you know, built my business based on cold calling. I still do it to this day. It's it's a habit, right? I can't get away from it. I actually go live in a private face group, doing cold calling. So if anybody's looking at, uh, you know, wanting to join, right now the name is keeping it real in real estate. I haven't decided if I'm going to change it or not, but uh, for the, for the time being, that's what it's called now. Um, you know, anyone young or, or not getting consistent business or not anybody just plugged in into the real estate world has to go out and fight for business. And so that's what I did. I got around a team who was teaching that. And so, you know, that's really what I do now on a daily basis. One of the top habits, Sal, of the top 1% of earners, I learned this from my coach, Coach Michael Bird, is that they prospect for a minimum of at least two hours a day and follow up for one hour a day. So um, if you want to become a top 1% study and model their habits. And so that's what I'm doing. What was that one thing that you taught me about follow-up? Wasn't it uh, 98% of sales are in the follow-up? What was that? Yeah, so so really 2% of sales are only done on the first on the first contact with the prospect. And also um, 80% of deals are closed anywhere from between the fifth and the 12th contact. So, I mean, keep your follow-up game strong. I mean, if you, you know, uh, leads that were actually followed up with and texted um, uh, three times after the first contact, we're 328% more likely to convert. So, I mean, I promise if you're doing more than two touches to a prospect, you're probably going to get the business to be honest, because no other agents or no other salesperson is, is going that hard or deep, you know, into follow-up. I mean, I, I believe that, um, you know, a lot of agents, uh, you know, you know, they don't 68% of agents don't do a second touch. Right. right. So you can you can automatically, you know, stand out even if they have a close trusted agent, you can automatically stand out by just keep following up with the with the lead. So that that's actually really good information. You know, I, I didn't know that until I got into real estate about doing the follow up, because you always think about in sales, you think about pretty much like car sales. Right. So like either they come in and they buy a car or they just leave and buy it with someone else. But really, this whole business is about the follow up. Right. <laughs> 100% man. I mean, uh, you know, and that's where, that's where social media strategy comes into play. I like to funnel people into my Facebook and social media. I'm like, Hey, add me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram. And, um, you know, I consistently post content and, you know, people don't really remember what, what you tell them. They remember, remember how you feel. So if I'm able to, I, I personally believe the best real estate that you can earn besides the physical real estate is real estate in their mind. So if I'm, if I'm consistently posting content, um, on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, t TikTok. I mean, you know, they're going to keep seeing me. They're going to say, damn, you know, consistency breeds trust. And so if I'm very consistent with, you know, um, you know, posting, uh, you know, closings and posting market information, I mean, we're going to be seen as that go-to agent. Right. No, that's great. Out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. Right. Exactly. All right. Um, real quick, tell me something that you've learned this month from, uh, probably a, a mistake that you've made that, you know, I know you've been in the business for a little while. No one's perfect, but tell me about a mistake that you made this month that you you kind of shook your head out. You're like, not again. Yeah, great question, man. Um, you know, I'm not going to get in too much of detail, but you know, there's this one, a uh, couple of things that happened that kind of uh, you know made me had to rethink whether or not I had the uh, emotional bandwidth to stay in this business. 
and I, you know, really thought about it, really prayed about it. And, you know, real estate is, is a great vehicle to not only help us, uh, help us with our clients buy and sell real estate, because it's a very rewarding feeling, but also it's just a great model to, you know, to uh, gain and achieve financial freedom. You know, there's, there's really great money to be made in this business. And so, um, you know, what, you know, what happened with me, you know, really made me question whether I had the emotional bandwidth to stay in the business. Um, and it, you know, it took me off, it took me off of my, my game for a couple of days, right? I mean, I, you know, like I said, I didn't want to continue to pursue moving forward. Um, but, you know, there's a great quote by John Maxwell is that everything worthwhile is uphill. And so yeah. I just, I just know that, you know, in order to keep moving forward, no matter what happens, no matter the, no matter what the circumstances are, no matter how hard I feel like a goal is, is to achieve, if I'm just if I just keep pushing that rock up the hill every day, I'm going to be farther than that than if I just sat around and did nothing. No, oh, that's awesome. Like I remember uh, earlier this morning, you posted on Facebook, basically just everything that you have going on, and you just you know just let it out for everybody to see. And that's a lot. You know, a lot of people work years just to be in the position that you're in. And I know you know that you've worked hard, right? Luck is just a lot of determination. That's all that is, right? Just a lot of hard work. I mean, the harder you work, the luckier you get, man. I mean, luck is just when preparation meets opportunity. Right. Awesome. Well, I like it. Um, so I know recently we, you and I, you um, let me go on an appointment with you. You want to talk about that really quick? Well, I closed my door because my dog's yelping at me. Yeah. Which, uh, which appointment was that? Was that uh, the one where we ran and did the certified home selling and listing presentation? The open door. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, so you know, Sal and I, uh, you know, he's relatively new to the business, but I mean, you're you're getting some great steam right now as far as like you're getting referrals. I mean, you've got a, a, a listing coming up, which is fantastic. I mean, usually new newer agents they only get buyer referrals, right? But you're on the cusp of getting your first referral, so congratulations and kudos. Nice. To you. But yeah, so uh, you know, Sal Sal ran this listing presentation with me. Um, I had been in contact with these people for, you know, probably well over two years now. So again, fortunes is in, fortune is in the follow up, right? And especially yeah. in a tight market like this, I mean, who wouldn't want to get listings? And so they had a home to sell. I was actually up against open door and open door actually made them an offer, a cash offer that was well, of, well above market value. And so, you know, I didn't know how to compete. The only thing that I knew was my certified home selling advisor training uh, which is by the National Association of Expert Advisors, Mr. Jay Kinder, my, Mr. Michael Reese, they're the co-founders. And, you know, fortunately, we have the, the pleasure of being in business with them here at EXP. That's who we partner with. And, you know, I just, you know, we never graduate from the fundamental sound. So I just basically did what I knew what to do was just give a great presentation, run the trends, run the comps, and just show them, you know, the proven and repeatable system that we have to show them that how we can help help them sell their property for up to 18% more by using traditional real estate methods, man. And, you know, I'll, I'll, you know, you know, you were there with me when I did the presentation, you know, what, how do you, what was their reaction when they, when I showed them everything? Yeah, they were pretty, they hands down, like you, you came in, you're, you, you were that human touch for them. They really didn't care about it almost was at that point. Right. So they didn't care about the money as much. They were like, you're the person that's going to help me out. Yeah, no, and I mean, netting the most was was important to them. But I think when I brought in that human element, like, hey, you know, let's not forget that real estate is a service based kind of, uh, trend, you know, service based. It's just, it's a service pretty much, and you know, we've got our systems in place on not only how we're going to give you great service, but also you know, help you net more money than open door. And I actually showed them how my team was able to do that, and so you know, they were concerned about. Um, you know, showings and, and uh, you know, different type of offers coming in and negotiations. I said, look, we've got a certified negotiation expert that's going to negotiate the best deal. We've got, uh, you know, plenty of systems in place on how we can help you net more money. You know, um, you know, I even took a 30 day listing agreement, you know, the typical standard is about six months. They wanted to only do 30 days. Um, I said, let's do it. I'm confident that we can make it, make it happen. And guess what? Yeah. We got an offer well over asking well over asking, well above Open Doors offer uh, in a matter of five days. So we're pretty stoked about wow. that. Uh, we actually closed a couple of weeks ago. So uh, I'm, I, they're excited. They're happy. Congratulations, man. Like the confidence that you had when you went into that room and that objection, I was like, oh, I don't know if you'll be able to get this. 
but the the actual confidence of what you have and what well, actually we have right yeah and uh, going out there and helping the clients out I mean, it, it takes time too, right? Um, you know, being in this business for a while um, and especially being such a, like, I'm, I'm a relentless knowledge seeker, man. I'm always looking to, you know, skill my game up. I'm always looking for that, 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 um, how, how can I have the edge over the next agent? And, you know, being a certified home selling advisor really does help because I mean, the bar entry to, to be a realtor is only 90 hours of yeah. being, you know, on average is about 90 hours in um in the u.s right i mean to to be a licensed nail tech you have to have 600 hours right wow. to be, i think to be a truck driver you have to have 1200 hours right and then you've got to actually drive you know, you've actually have to drive right to um you know to get your license right you know right. in real estate you just pass a course and now you have your license it's not like you're going out and selling and then okay now i have my license i've got the experience yeah. no you actually, you know, you pass a test. And so, I mean, that's why there's so many agents, you know, that, that's why, you know, 90% of the deals are done by 10% of the agents. Just it's those who put in the work, who um, are consistent and also, um, you know, provide value and, and, you know, become that, you know, certified home selling advisor and, and that real estate advisor who just mastered their craft on a daily basis to become a better agent. That's something I'm going to have to take a look at. So 100%. <laughs> 100%. Um, so real quick, I know you're busy, but uh, give me a book on leadership uh, that, you, that you've that you read probably recently or in the past, or what's something you, you want me to read that will probably help my business or anybody listening? Yeah, man, uh, you know, you brought up that post uh, that I made and, you know, um, we're, can you tell me what the post said? By the post about the, the certain amount of listings and certain amount of buyers and- right. Uh, that you have going on you have listings coming up you have uh, the, the closings that you've had this past couple of weeks I mean the, all those things <laughs> all those things that uh you would think multiple agents have but only you know that it's your business going on right now right right I um, mean it, it it seems great right it looks like I'm happy I'm, I'm enjoying life right would, would is that a fair statement to say <laughs> yep yeah, and most people would, and um, you know, you know, uh, the, honestly, um, it, it's a great feeling. I'm very blessed, uh, but sometimes, you know, it doesn't feel like I'm not going fast enough, or it doesn't feel like I have enough, right? And so, um, this book that was recommended in our Honey Badger Network, which is our exclusive uh, real uh, real uh, EXP network group that we have the pleasure of being a part of, uh, that was recommended. This book it's called The Gap and the Gain. If uh -huh. you ever heard it. Yeah, I've heard of it. I haven't read it. It's really good, man. It's a, it's a, it's the high achievers guide to happiness and confidence and success. And so basically, you know, it's Dan Sullivan's principles, a very simple yet pro profound, uh, you know, basically the teachings of, of, you know, how unsuccessful people, you know, focus on the gap, but successful people focus on the gain. And, and the concept is, is that, you know, how can you have a healthy relationship with your business? Because us as high achievers, you know, we really feel like, okay, we got this going on, but it's just not enough. We're never happy, right? Right. Oh, so that's us fo focusing on the gap. We're focusing on what we're missing and not what we have. And so um, the book, I love it, is very simple, um, but it really goes into depth on how you can actually focus on that gain so that you can actually, you know, focus on, okay, I've, I've gone, gotten this far, Right. And so, you know, I need to be very, you know, you know, grateful and glad that I've gotten this far. Like if you measure backwards, like, you know, if you measure, OK, you know, where was I a year ago? OK, look, look where I am today. Right. You know, basically you learn that measuring your current self versus your former self has an enormous psychological benefits. Um, it's a really good book for anybody who's struggling with, you know, not feeling like they're enough or they've done enough, even though some other people would consider them very successful. It's a really great book. I highly recommend it. So the, that's called The Gap and the Gain by Dan Sullivan. So giving yourself some time to grow, you know, it's not going to yeah. come overnight. Yeah, it gives you time to reflect and really like, okay, yeah, man, I, I mean, I, I am, I am, you know, pretty successful. Like, I mean, I am doing, you know, big things and, you know, I need to uh, you know, count those small wins, right? You count the small wins, they add it to bigger wins, right? It's just, it keeps the momentum going. I like it.
Thanks. I'm going to, you're going to have to let me know about that. Maybe I'll go yeah, off Amazon or something. It's a great book. If anybody, you know, just in business in general, it's a fantastic book that anybody should read. Like I said, I'm a relentless knowledge seeker. And I'd love to feed my mind. Um, you know, uh, I have it on Audible, which is, you know, Audible is great because uh, the co-authors actually do it. it they do like a, kind of like a podcast style with Dan Sullivan. Uh-huh. Like not only do you get the book, but you also get to hear like a podcast of like the after the chapters, they go into like kind of a podcast style question back and forth, which is pretty cool. So I recommend it on, on Audible. Definitely. I'm going to have to take a look at it. Uh, talk about feeding you. yourself. You're going to be feeding other people's minds here pretty soon. Tell me about your speaking engagement. Yeah, super, super excited. Um, you know, I got invited to speak on a real estate panel um, on how, you know, you can use social media and dominate it in any sort of market. Um, so I'm excited. It's a panel hosted by our, our uh, senior business partner, Nick Good. It's going to be at the Yokel Local. I've never been there. It's in downtown McKinney. It's supposed to be a pretty great venue. Okay, uh, but we're going to be, you know, a couple have some other great speakers and where uh, other great agents as well that on, on the panel that's going to be speaking on how social media has been kind of changing their business and how they're using social media to grow their business. So I'm, I'm excited. I'm super pumped. Um, it's going to be on Thursday, uh, April 28th at the Yokel Local. Reach out to Sal for those those details uh-huh. from three to six um, and we'll send you the link. Um, we still have early bird pricing. So you know, go grab your ticket and go secure your spot. Awesome. Well, thanks, David. I really appreciate your time. I know, I know you're busy. I'm busy. So thought we, this would be a little bit productive for the people that uh, follow my channel. I appreciate your time. So there, I appreciate you. Well, man, I mean, you know, I'm happy to to jump on these, you know, every, every time and, uh, you know, hopefully add some value to your audience. Uh, You know, anybody can find me on Instagram at David Bentick. Uh, Facebook, shoot me a call, shoot me a DM. Let's chat, let's connect and, you know, reach out to Sal if you're looking to grow your business. All righty, man. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. All right, brother. We'll see you. Bye.